Welcome to Thrill Thrifter. My name is Julie and today we are going thrifting in Goodwill. I have a thrift haul for you. I have a lot of thrift styling for you. We have a little bit of cooking going on in this video. So let's get to thrift shopping, see what all I found and how I'm gonna use it once we get back home. here i wanted to point out these beautiful spindles on this little bed it is almost worth the price just to have the spindles but i would not want to get this and take the beautiful bed away from somebody that might need it but if that was like at a garage sale or at a dump or on the side of the road in the garbage i would grab that and use it just for the spindles alone I happened to look up right about here and look at that beautiful tray that's leaned up against the wall. I had to get a Swiffer mop thing to help me get it down because there was nobody that could help me. So I managed and got it down and I think it is gorgeous. It's got some wear issues or something on it. I'm not really sure, but I'm just kind of looking it over to determine whether or not I want to put this in my buggy and think about it. Okay, so I know that blue and white is all the rave right now and all the home decor, and this is gorgeous. I'm sure that somebody swooped this up as soon as I walked away, but I really like to keep my candlesticks to brass. As gorgeous as these were, I decided to leave them because I really just prefer my little brass candlesticks right now. And then I thought that this bunny was so cute, y'all. It looks so primitive. It is gorgeous. But in my mind, I was like, where would I put it? I would have to put it in storage right now, even though I thrift for all seasons all year I did end up putting it back I'm trying to do better about not picking up every little thing that I think is just adorable but I do come across this little basket here like this little three-tiered type basket that hangs from the ceiling and y'all have been looking for one of these forever at the thrift store and so you better believe that this thing went in my boogie for three dollars and 29 cents What a beautiful little piece this is right here. I thought it was gorgeous. So if you are from Hawaii or if you've ever visited there, you have family there, this would be a fun little piece to put in a Christmas basket or just a thinking about you little gift or something like that with a meal. I don't know. I just thought that it was gorgeous. These little deer, they really fooled me out of my peripheral vision. I thought that they were brass, but they are not. They look like they are ceramic, just painted to look like brass. So we're going to leave those here on the shelf. Okay, and y'all know it just would not be a Goodwill thrifting trip with Julie if we did not stop by and look at the dishes. I go and look at the dishes at every thrift store. It is just something I have to do. I can't stand it because that one piece that I might be missing is probably in there somewhere. Anyway, I do find some fun little pieces here in the dish section and I'm excited to share those with y'all here shortly.
Okay, y'all, and this Goodwill that I am thrifting at today, it is a smaller Goodwill, but y'all, one of the things that I love about them is they are constantly bringing out new carts, and I mean constantly. So by the time I got to this cart here, it was full probably about 10 minutes ago, like overflowing full, and people just kind of went to that cart and started getting stuff off. Of course, they did ask. Our Goodwills encourage us to go through the carts. I know a lot of y'all say that you can't do that, but y'all, they encourage us to go through them because they say it is less work on them if we go ahead and buy the stuff off the cart. And so anyway, yeah, they are just constantly bringing out carts to be a smaller Goodwill. I don't know why they have such a good turnover on their merchandise because their prices are, you know, a little pricey on some of it, but they do, y'all. They stay busy and they constantly turn over merchandise here, which I, I really do love and appreciate. And then I spot it on top of this shelf was a some sort of lazy susan and maybe y'all can help me out i'm gonna pull it down i'm not exactly sure what this is what it was used for it's got these little slots in it it's really kind of confusing i was trying to decide could i use this for something maybe like under a kitchen sink under a bathroom sink but then i saw all of those little slots and i was like yeah no that's not gonna work so if anybody knows what in the world this was let us all know in the comment section please So I almost put this primitive looking little box in my buggy and brought it home. But I decided because of the little snowman cut out that I would have to turn it around, you know, and put the snowman towards the back and it, it would just probably kind of drive me crazy. So I decided to put that back, but I did think it would make like a beautiful little small Christmas tree box for the holidays or something. But the reason I also put this back is because I did end up finding several other things that I liked more. I mean, I came home with about a half a buggy full if not more of stuff so sometimes you just have to choose what you want more because you know everybody got a budget at some point Now, I knew the moment that I looked at these and put these back on the shelf and did not bring these home, one of my older daughters was going to say, Mom, why didn't you bring that home? We could have used that because we have several fall birthday parties for lots of little kids in our family, and this would have been perfect if, at one of their birthday parties, excuse me. It would have been great, and I almost, I knew I was questioning myself when I was standing there. I was like, do I get it? Do I not get it? And I ended up leaving it because all I could look at was all those little parts. And my daughter saying, oh my gosh, that's got too many parts. Why would you bring something to my house with all those little bitty parts? 
so I left it on the shelf. And now they're saying, oh, we want to do this pumpkin decorating party at so-and-so's birthday. Why didn't you get those? <laughs> I said, you know, sometimes as a mama, you just can't never win. While I'm over here looking at the baby stuff, I wanted to insert a clip of our newest little family member. This is little Channing. This is Kelsey and Josh's third little son, and he is adorable. So many of y'all have been asking me for pictures, so I thought that I would include those here just very quickly while we were kind of scrolling through the baby section of the thrift store. Okay, so if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you know that anytime I find a linen I am interested in, I am going to check it over front and back. I'm going to open that thing up. I'm going to look at it and make sure there's no rips, no tears, no stains, all that good jazz. And now listen, if you are not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? What? Y'all, we go thrifting here every single week, sometimes twice a week. We do all the things thrifty here on Thrill Thrifter. We are decorating with thrift finds. We are cooking with thrift finds. We're doing all the things with thrift store purchases. So don't even hesitate. Don't wait another minute. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can make sure you are able to come along thrifting with us every single week. Okay, so we are headed now to go check out, and then something caught my attention. It made me curious to see what in the world this was in this box. And y'all, when I Google Lens this, it talked about like a Land Rover car part or something, but it looks like a hanger inside. It also looks like a hanger on the front. So I was totally confused, but I really didn't have time to research it in the store because I need to get home and share my thrift haul with y'all. So let's go. So I do have a collection of these small little gold frames going on. And I promise I am gonna show y'all where I have placed all of these and the pictures that I have decided to put in them. I am still trying to get some pictures that I really love gathered up because I probably have about 15 to, anywhere from 15 to 20 of these little gold rimmed frames in different sizes that I want to just have a bunch of different random candid type pictures put in. I was excited to find another one of these for only $1.29. Uh, and y'all, I passed on some of these, not this particular size, but I did pass on some dishes that were this same pattern last time I was at this very Goodwill. So I said today, I'm not leaving them. I think that these are the perfect size. Y'all, these are not like your regular size dinner plates. These are smaller, like almost a sandwich size plates. You can see there's my hand and they are very dirty and so i do need to give them a good clean sorry you hear my dishwasher going in the background but they are corel let me get up close where y'all can see here's what the back looks like and there were one two three four of these and i use a let me show y'all real quick believe it or not this is what dish or plate i should say that i grab for the most in my kitchen cabinet so um and you can see the comparison here to my hand like here's the size comparison here and we use these a lot i mean i feel like we will use these a lot now they are normally a dollar 29 a piece it's what their sign says but y'all know me i have always ask if i buy any more than about three if i buy three or more i'm always going to ask them to give me a discounted price so that's what i did and i just realized that i tore the tag but hopefully y'all can see it there it says four dollars and 29 cents 
is what he charged me for all of these. So I did save a little bit of money, not much, but every little bit helps. That means I'll have a little bit more next time I wanna go to the thrift store. I don't think there's any footage of these in the thrifting portion of the video because when I was kind of circling back around putting a few things back I spotted these and I thought you know what these might just be perfect because I like to freeze spinach and bananas and different things like that to put in my smoothies and then I also thought that these would be good to make up a bunch of like egg bites or like little mini quiches maybe with you know out the crust like just with the eggs and the sausage and the stuff like that um i might include a clip here what i'm gonna use the little silicone thing for is i want to see if i can make like some breakfast some little egg bites or something so i've got some fresh yard eggs i've just got some half and half i've got some bacon bits here that I get at Sam's. I got a little bit of cooked sausage that I pulled out of the freezer and a little bit of shredded cheese. I'm going to keep it very simple. You know what? I probably should spray these with some avocado oil. Let me get that too. It's powerful. Get those sprayed a little bit. Use one of my little thrifty handy bowls here. This is a thrifted bowl also. And so is this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack these fresh yard eggs one at a time. And since I have six spots over here i think i'm gonna i think there will be enough after all the fillings and stuff that maybe one egg will be enough in each one um we'll see so let's just get some eggs cracked and in the bowl Okay, y'all, so now they're not as puffy. Sorry, the microwave's going in the background. It's defrosting something for me. But look, they did kind of calm down after coming out. And look how easy they just pop right out. I do think that I'm going to like that. I'm about to taste one, but I wanted to show y'all. Like, let's just kind of cut into one. They look really, really good. And they come out so easy. That's one thing that I like. So let me give this a taste. Look at that. Looks so good. Too hot. Y'all, it cooked them perfectly. I could not be happier. I can probably even flash freeze them um, in this. I probably won't though, because I want to put them on a cooling rack and cool them down completely. Since there's only six of these, I didn't make like a big bulk thing. I'll probably just put these in the refrigerator and I can eat on them through the week. Elizabeth can grab one on the way out the door, my husband. So yeah, my tip is if you find some of these and you want to do it, I don't think they are intended for this, but it worked, so I don't see why you couldn't. Don't overfill it. That's what I learned because you, it's really hard to move this thing around um, once it's too full. So I feel like if you didn't fill it as full as I did, you might not have some of that overflow problem. I thought that this was probably a pretty good deal, and I don't think they will be hard to store. Um, because they stack so nicely. I was trying to see if they had a name or anything on them and and they don't but there were four of them as you can see here and I think that this will be good for freezing stuff you know for my um, my smoothies and like breakfast things and you might even be able to make some of those hot cocoa bombs in these that people were making. I don't know if you could do it. I don't know. I don't know if you could freeze something and make a ball you know, like, oh, well, they're stuck together. But, I mean, I don't know if you could do it like this and make, you know, like a um, cocoa bomb or whatever, you know, those people were making. So, yeah, I was kind of reluctant on paying $4.29 for, for this set. 
but you know for food preparation and if it is going to help me and encourage me to do things and eat things at home and have things already prepared and ready then i'm all for it so i, I really don't know what they're worth or how much they would cost or anything like that okay y'all somebody asked me the other day where i got these placemats and i have had these placemats for so long if you go all the way back to probably my very first video um well they might not be in my very first video but i'm just saying like you will consistently see these on my table i got these at ross years and years ago probably at least five years or more ago and i have been looking for some similar to this at ross tj maxx everywhere and cannot find them they are not um plastic i'm not really sure what they are but they have almost kind of a plastic feel and they just function good because you can put them in the sink and wash them really well well y'all at the goodwill today look what i spotted i love these even more they just look compared to these they just look kind of fresh and clean and new and i can definitely replace these with these new ones and i love that they are made out of the same type of material so i can still put them in the kitchen sink spray them with some dawn dish liquid clean them up really well there was only one little spot right here which i don't really think that's a big deal and they were only four dollars and 29 cents and i normally only have three placemats sitting here at our table because unless i pull my kitchen table out i really don't have room for four but i will definitely hold on to that extra one in case something happens so i am going to get these washed up and placed on my table i'm super super excited because i cannot tell y'all how long i have been looking for some new ones to go on my table because even though you can wash these and clean them up very well there are some that have like here's one right here you probably might not be able to tell very well but i have cleaned and cleaned and cleaned a couple of these and they are just kind of stained they're fraying kind of in some spots so i am going to switch these out finally after years of use and put my new ones from goodwill down so super super excited to find this practical in my opinion piece here So I've tried to scoot back some so I can show y'all this piece here. How many of y'all remember seeing these in a family member's home at some point? It was $3.29 and I have wanted one of these for the longest. Um, it is one of these hanging wire basket things and I love this. I think this is just so country. It definitely reminds me of a ch my childhood because I remember my mama and my grandma having one of these and i love it i'm not exactly sure where i'm gonna put it but if i already have it in place at the end of the video i will show y'all where it ended up but i think i'm gonna do my what do you call it garlic here my onions here sorry here in the middle and then my potatoes here at the bottom but y'all don't you love that you could use this for so many different things you could use this to put your different um coffee pods in like if you do the keurig and you have different flavors you could use this in the bathroom to put bath towels bath soaps i mean these are just so versatile and i love it so i'm gonna go over here and try to find me a corner or somewhere where i can put this let me show y'all i got these bags right here at ikea and i do love these produce bags so this is kind of what i've been keeping my onions in and then i have another one up there that i did have my potatoes whoop there it is those potatoes in and i've just been kind of hanging these off of this peg rack but i don't know what i'll do with those little bags now so let me go see if i can get that other thing in place and show y'all what it looks like
so I love to pick up beautiful Christmas plates or platters and use them not only to decorate with if I want to, but you can also use things like this as gifts around the Christmas season. You can make some baked goodies on them and give them to somebody and tell them don't worry about returning the plate. It is yours. So I thought that this piece was just absolutely gorgeous. It is very simple, elegant, but just beautiful in my opinion. So I grabbed this and it was only a dollar. 29 it does not have a maker or anything on the back it's just well actually it no that's never, never mind that's not writing is it no i think that's just um part of the plate it's not writing so anyway grab that and i think it'll be beautiful to either style or gift to someone okay and speaking of christmas for two dollars and 29 cents i got this beautiful tablecloth it has the perfect country red for Christmas colors in it that I really really like and I got this because I thought I would be able to use it as a shower curtain in our guest bathroom during Christmas. I don't know if it's going to be wide enough. I have not measured it yet but I'm hoping it does fit because I think that that would be so cute in there. I just recently thrifted at the Salvation Army a green and white one very very similar to this same gingham pattern and I love it in there. So if this one doesn't fit in that bathroom the green and white one will still work perfectly all into Christmas because it's got the green and white so I'm not too worried about that and then I can take this and fold it and maybe put it on the end of a bed or drape it over a chair or just out of a basket something like that so yeah tablecloths for Christmas are definitely winners because you can easily and inexpensively change out like shower curtains if you wanted to for Christmas without spending you know a whole lot of money retail you could do it just with a tablecloth or you can use this to dress up the end of a bed or a chair or a couch or anything like that just to give it that Christmas flair without breaking the bank here it is all laid out in my living room and sadly I don't think it's wide enough for a shower curtain in my guest bathroom I just don't think it's going to be wide enough so I may have to use this on the end of maybe the guest bed or even my bed I don't know I will figure it out and if all else fails guess what we will just use it for a tablecloth during the Christmas season when we have gatherings and different things like that so everything will be just fine and for only two dollars and 29 cents you can make pillows out of it stockings out of it I mean the possibilities are endless so do not forget to check out that linen section and look for some tablecloths Okay, I've tried to step back where you can see it really well because it is pretty large so I got this big tray also to either use on the end of a bed or I might try to put it on my sewing table that's by my bed in my master bedroom. So right now I'm using a cutting board in there because you know I have the the sewing table open so it leaves that uh, um, open spot there in the middle where the where the sewing machine and all would go so I always have to have something there to cover up that hole because I like to keep it open and have the extra space so I'm gonna see if this will actually fit there that's what I was originally thinking but I'm not sure how well I'm gonna like this little lip right here on the edge but y'all this thing was brand new now it is dirty it looks almost like it might have some mildewy issues or something i don't know if it had been sitting outside or i honestly can't tell like i don't i can't really tell if that's part of the tray you know like right there or if it you know did kind of have some mildewy issues i'll have to put a little bit of bleach on that and see but it still had the brand new tag on it from wherever it came from i only paid let's see four dollars and 29 cents and I didn't think that that was too bad for this big of a tray let me look let me see if I can see what that tag says underneath and maybe I can tell y'all where it's from that almost looks like a Tuesday morning is what it says well I can't I can't get this off I always have this trouble goodwill always be putting the sticker over the original price okay well it looks like the original price I don't know if y'all can tell but I can see it it says 14 right here it says 14.99 wherever it came from. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up and show y'all where I decided to put this also. So a fun little find here on this tray. And again, if this just does not work out in my decor like I want it to, 
I'm going to use this to carry things out to our patio back and forth. So we a lot of times like to grill and eat outside or have hot chocolate outside or different things like that. And I can use this to carry things, you know, put a bunch of things on here and carry things out. I can put plates and cups and just different things like that and carry it outside and just set it on our table out there. So even if it don't work out in my decor, like I said, I'm going to make use of it somewhere. Okay, y'all. So I might have a slight change of plans here with the tray y'all I washed this and look what it did and I have tried to dry it okay well maybe it will come off if I scrape it but y'all what in the world why did it film up like that I thought I wasn't gonna be able to I might end up having to paint this I'm not really sure because it oh hello Piper everybody's been wondering where you was I know tell them you love being outside now um, so yeah, what in the world? Why would it have done that? And I could not get some of these like stain parts out of the <laughs> Hello Piper out of the sides. So I'm thinking even though I've washed it good and I've sanitized it I might have to let it dry out here in the Sun and paint it So if there is not an update on this at the end of this video, it's because I ran into problems <laughs> And I'll have to update y'all in the next video or something. So let me see what I can do with this. And I'll let y'all know. I'll put some text here on the screen and let you know what I ended up having to do. Piper, say hello to everybody. Okay, so yes, the tray is going to have to be a to be continued. But thank y'all so much for coming along to Goodwill with me today and going thrift shopping, seeing my thrift haul once we got back home, and how I am using and incorporating all of these thrifted pieces in and throughout my home. We hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend. We love y'all, and I'll see you next week with a brand new video.